Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. We're here in the Flab Zone, we know the Spin Jump now, also known as the Toadsworth Twist, because that's what I want to call it. Screw every other interpretation, Partners in Time is the best, because it's Toadsworth. Also, Princess Peach got kidnapped by balls. Dirty joke within the first 20 seconds of the video. Hooray. Anyways, so um, we have the last Flab Zone attack piece, which means we start off the video with a new... A uh, special attack, which I am more than fine with, especially because this one is actually pretty awesome. Welcome to Jump Helmet. Very, very interesting technique to use. Um, it's very much like Cannonballers in the first game, although I, I do rate a little higher in, or a little stronger than Cannonballers, and that's a very strong single target attack. Um, also, it involves jumping on them. But um, disregarding that, it's very good um, against bosses. So you'll see that this is going to be an attack we use a lot against bosses, or what, especially the ones that where you need to focus on a single target, but there's other targets to hit. Um, actually, this that, that makes Jump Helmet one of the best items you can use for the um, upcoming boss, which is going to... I mean, there's going to be a boss in this video. Most areas have a boss at the end that makes sense, so I didn't really... That's not spoilers, right? Right? Maybe? Whatever. Um, if you guys read the descriptions, I'm sure you guys already know of that. Uh, anyway, but how it works is you basically uh, you use the directional pad to control Luigi so that Mario continues to bounce on him. Press A every time it bounces. Once you reach the end, if you've had enough bounces, uh, as long as you've bounced enough times successfully. Uh, also, the, the way Mario lands in the springs determines the angle at which he jumps. So if you uh, make him jump too far forward, he, you might not get as many bounces so you won't do as much damage. But uh, basically, depending on how many bounces you do, and, you know, just how well you perform it, you can do quite a lot of damage. It is pretty easy to screw up, though. You know, if Mario does not land in the spring, you instantly lose, um, do the attack without doing any damage at all. Which is bad. So it's very much an all-or-nothing attack, but it does do quite a bit of damage for a pretty decent cost. It only costs, S um, you know, 6 SP, that's three. That's, that's two green shells. Because two green sh each green shell is 3 SP. Uh, I mean, two green shells will do more damage overall, I'd say, but um, in the end, being able to do all that much damage in one, at, in just in one turn, is a lot more helpful. Anyway, so we got defense. Um, we're gonna get defense power ups. I'm gonna think I'm gonna do it in one more cycle of uh, one really, really. That just sucks. But I think I'll do one more cycle of power HP defense before I do other stats. So um, yeah, it's level nine now. So 10, 11, 12 will be another power HP defense. I think I did something similar for Bowser, and then I'll do uh, probably Stasher. Well, it's Horn for Bowser, but Stash for these guys. So pretty much the same pattern I did for Bowser, actually. I just realized I've probably done that pattern already, because Bowser's still like several levels higher than the bros. Um, but that's actually to be expected. Bowser does tend to catch up. We'll actually be catching up with the Mario Bros pretty soon, though, because the next sections coming up are going to be a lot more uh, heavy on Mario and Luigi as opposed to Bowser. Uh, especially later in the game, it's going to get really Mario and Luigi heavy. So for now, while you know Bowser does have a pretty significant lead, um, the next Bowser section isn't that long. Uh, speaking of the next Bowser section, actually, I'm going to save doing the Cluster Road Challenge, because the Jump Helmet does have a Cluster Road Challenge. I'm going to save doing that for uh, when we do, for after the next Bowser section, because the next Bowser section is really short. I'm going to try to jam pack it into one video, or even, you know, tack it at the end of this section's videos. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the Jump ch the jump Challenge later. Really? I didn't want to land on that guy. But uh, this gives me, actually, um, if I believe uh, correctly, this is actually, uh, yeah, uh, a different sort of scenario where I'm not sure if it, um, you have to wound a tenderly for him to do this, but the carb uh, the calorites, the carbonites, that's not right, the calorites can eat tenderlings and then reproduce themselves. I didn't know eating meat can make you perform mitosis, but apparently, you know, eating meat leads to reproduction. That's a bit odd, but hey, you've got extra refreshing herbs, and it does, you know, give you experience, so it's not a horrible thing. It's just that those guys are pretty tricky. Uh, refreshing herbs, if you get, if I haven't mentioned it yet, they cure all status conditions. So bur your burn and your dizzies and all that sort of stuff. Have we seen dizzy status yet? I don't even remember if we've seen that yet before or not. Um, either way, I know we've definitely seen burn last time. That calorite just wrecked my shit last time. That was pretty bad. Anyway, so we get a little maze section. We haven't used a uh, little small Mario in a, a long time. Kind of a bit odd, I guess. Well, it's not really odd. It's just um, well, we've only um. We've only had the mini Mario and uh, the spin attack, the spin jump in, in Superstar Saga, so I guess um, there's not really tradition per se. You can't have a tradition based on one thing, but um, it is opposite of Superstar Saga, where you will learn the spin jump and then you learn the hammer techniques. This one, you you learn the hammer technique first, and I don't know, it just seems a bit different. I don't know. For some reason, it always felt like you should learn the jump techniques first. Maybe I'm just weird and like feeling that there's like a natural order and that this game kind of goes against it. Not that that's a bad thing necessarily. I guess I'm probably just weird. Anyway, this unlocks this piece of fat, which just launches you ridiculously high in the air. That has to be a lot of fun. 
I want a trampoline that can launch you like 100 feet in the air. That would be awesome. Not that this is 100 feet. I guess technically like Mario is like, Mario and Luigi are like micron size right now. So it would probably be like an inch. But uh, anyway, we got ourselves another Nutso Globin, which is awesome because it's Nutso Globin. And Nutso Globin's nutsy. Um, which means we get another couple of questions to ask Bowser and then, you know, another quiz. Now, like I said last time, Chippy is really the only one that I ever find vague. Like, th these next two, um, well, the current body shape, which don't confuse that with his body condition. His body condition is like normal. This one's talking about the shape, as in the fatness. So he's going to just basically whine about how he's fat. But there are a few details. I mean, they're very obvious details. Pancaking, Mario, um, stuff like that. And then the How He'll KO, he KO Fawful. These ones have really obvious details that, like, very obvious, yeah, I'm going to be doing these kind of questions. Like, we're going to be asking these kind of questions, you know. Um, little paratroopers right there, and the bomb, and they're going to mention bomb bombs right now. So, stuff like that, you know. It's very obvious the details he's going to ask. Chippy, though, is very vague, because all the questions, the he seems to have mentioned all the answers, so... I've never, I've been sure which one's the right answer to the chippy ones. Hopefully we're not going to run into a chippy one. Uh, but here we go, Pancake Attack. Yeah, I just mentioned that one actually, I believe. Um, this one's Inhalation, which is kind of weird. How do you intend to finish him off? By inhaling him and then eating him. It works, it's effective. But yeah, anyway. Um, hint for the future, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, it's not a chippy one, really. Uh, it's, 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 well, he mentioned who, won't say who, say who she is, right? Wrong? But, but he mentioned that. I have no idea what the right one is for that even. Just very vague, those chippy questions. I hate those ones. Whatever. We fight Tenderling! Yay! Gonna get new experience soon. That's that's fine. Um, we're already getting pretty high levels. You can see that we're leveling really fast now. I guess, um, I mean, well, I mentioned this last time about the whole under-leveling in this game and how I don't really feel like it exists. The fact that we are still such a low level, we're a bit probably below the average level for how, my, how people would normally do this game. Um, I mean, I'm just basically trying to not, you know fight as many people as possible while showing off all the enemies. I mean, if I fight extra enemies, good, more experience. If not, then, you know, I don't freaking get overpowered. It is going to be kind of a pain in the ass, though, because I do, um, I, I guess you guys have been really like, guys, do the secret boss at the end, do the secret boss at the end, so I guess I'll do the secret boss at the end. Just give you a lot of leveling up in between hand. In between hand? That's, that's not said right. Anyway, we know this question. What's the next one? Um, but yeah, so I, I think I'm giving, I'm getting, like, I'm leveling up so fast because I'm already such a low level that this amount of EXP is just, like, really racking up here. Um, it's another chippy one. Is it the yapping one? Oh, okay, there we go. Lucky guess. Haha, <laughs> lucky, get it? Haha. <laughs> anyway, Bowser Theater. I guess, you know, what is it with villains and theater? Bowser likes theater, apparently. I mean, he did actually get suckered in by Fawful Theater, so who knows. Fawful likes theater. I mean, you, got, you guys gotta know that Count Black probably likes the theater. Um, and who's who's another flashy villain? I'm allowed to make these jokes. Um, what? Who? Oh, Kakaletta, There we go. I was like, who's the villain in Superstar Saga? Yeah, probably probably her too. The shrooms. They're just well. Apparently, the shrooms like the theater. There was a shroom right there. So who knows? Anyway, we're actually reaching the end of this thing. Um, the pipe. I think he said going down the red pipe. I wasn't actually looking, but um, you're paying attention to the color really. But, um, basically, the other pipe will lead you back to the beginning. Yeah, it's the green pipe that leads you back to the beginning. Take the red pipe, and then you take the green pipe here. The red one, in this case, will lead you back to where we got the final attack piece. So the room that we have spin jump in. Speaking of spin jump, we have spin jump across this. Really lucky I didn't land on the car on the cal right there. That was, that was a close call. Kind of a close call. Anyways, a room with item blocks and a save point. This doesn't smell like a boss is coming. Well, it wouldn't smell like a boss is coming. How do you smell a video game? Video games don't smell. But this doesn't look like a boss, no siree. I actually have a lot of coins right now, which is good, because I should be able to actually reach the 2,000 coins I want for um, the next buying section for Bowser, actually. Uh, there's something really good coming for Bowser. That's 2,000 coins. Um, yes, we'll save the princess, blah, 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 stupid text. But yeah, it's a good thing I actually have that. Um, I've been actually doing pretty good of keeping up with my coins for once, which is kind of nice. Anyway, it's the Blobs! We caught up to them, finally! So, of course, in order to save Princess Peach, we're going to need to use, well, obviously, um, you're going to see that uh, jumps and hammers won't work, as Stylo is about to say, because I can predict the future of a video game. Uh, it's not like I've cheated and played the game before, no! No siree! But, um, basically, we're going to use the, spin, the uh, spin jump. Spin jump? Yes, yeah, spin jump. Uh, I, was, I was about to say spin attack to the face, which wouldn't make any sort of sense. Except that these things are kind of all faces. Also, it looks for a moment it's like, Peach is dead! And Mario's like, no! And Peach is like, I'm fine. Peach can't die. They can't kill off Peach. 
Well, how would you make how who would play you have to play if you wanted to play a girl in a sports game you have to play Daisy then and who wants to play Daisy? Come on. She's so annoying. Okay, Daisy's fine. It's just her voice actor is sometimes really annoying in certain games. Mario Party 8. Um, but here we go. Here's our boss. Uh, this is Alva Cretton or Cretan or I, I'm not really sure how you pronounce that term. I'm not very I'm not very big in biology. Um, I think it's a biology term. But I'm gonna call him Cretan. If I'm wrong, it would not have been the first time I've mispronounced things in an LP. I seem to do that on a daily basis, uh, especially games like Pokemon and Okami Den. But anyway, uh, welcome to the boss. Now the way this is gonna work, um, his he has two forms, so we're having a bit of a more of a gimmick fight than before, which is fine. You know, it's fine to have gimmick fights. Although, um, be, be, um, make sure for the Gauntlet, because eventually, you know, the Gauntlet will have harder versions of these bosses that we have to do in a limited number of turns. And the limited number of turns is where this gets tricky, and where I'm actually going to plan ahead when I do the Gauntlet. Because, as you can see, you can only attack the, um, the, the same, the nodes or whatever these things are that are the same color as you. The problem being, um, you can actually end up in, in situations where you can't actually do any attacks if you don't plan things right. Which, as you can see, um, since all since it changes colors to all adjacent nodes when you hit something or when you kill them, you should be able to kill them in one hit. Um, all these ones are going to turn red, unless Luigi's not going to be able to get a turn here. So, when you're doing this um, in the gauntlet, we're going to want to be really careful to make sure we don't waste turns doing this sort of stuff. For now, though, I mean it's not a big deal. It's just extra attacks. These guys aren't too bad. I mean, they they do give defense down if you screw up, which is kind of sucky. But, um, they're not horribly hard to dodge anyway, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, but we should be able to... Oh, wait, the next one's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna be green next. I thought it's a turn for Mario as well. Oh, well. Like I said, not a big deal. Um, they always attack in the order that the, the things light up, and in the color, um, the bro, obviously. That's pretty self-explanatory, I think, how the, the, the attacks work, I'd hope. But uh, once you finish them off, which you're about to do right here, the second phase where we can actually damage the boss begins. Because they're going to crumble, and there's going to be one left. Now, this one's the real one. We want to be attacking this one. He's going to create a bunch of clones, though. These ones are fake. You should not attack them. Um, but for now, first focus on the um, on their uh, actual attack, which the way they're going to attack is transfer electricity between them. Now, I hate this attack so much because just the timing, it, it I, it's more on a delay than you think. Because like, they start the little sound effect, but I always jump when I hear the sound. I get all over-eager. You want to delay it just a little bit. Like, the window for doing this is just really tricky. Anyway, so the one that jumps up is the one that you want to attack. and quickly heal using the badges. Um, because I have badges now! I can heal, yay! But, um, pay attention to the one that's real. It's the one that's jumping in the beginning before they all shuffle. Um, that's the real one. And then, as long as you, as long as you, you know, you're 100% sure that's the real one, which I am, um, just wail on them. Jump helmets, if you have some SP left over, uh, green shells, that sort of stuff. You can do quite a bit of damage when you're uh, using all of them. So, basically just wail on him now. This is the point of the, of the battle where you really want to do as much damage as you can. Now, um, I, now for, um, I mean, it's not nearly as bad as, like, Sunnyside in Partners in Time. These sort of gimmick battles. Like, the gimmick battles in Partners in Time, they're not that tough, really. They're just sort of, like, little things you need to do. They're not, like, giant, long, ridiculous processes like Sunnyside was in Partners in Time. And also, we're not going to do it that many times. Like, that, that boss will be do it like 20 billion times. And yes, I'm complaining a lot about Sunnyside, but he's like a prime example of what was wrong with bosses and partners in time. This game rectifies it. Like, we're only going to have to do this whole process twice. Um, at least for all the runs I've done through this, from this, um, he's only done it twice. I'm not sure if it's based on damage or something else, but um, twice seems to be the magic number of times you have to do this whole killing the big form, then killing these little individual ones. Anyway, let's mix things up. Some green shell. Why not? I have a little bit of speed to spare anyway. So, um... Green shell and jump uh, helmet. Obviously, fire flower, not a very good choice in this scenario because um, it's going to be multi target and you want to be focusing all of your damage on just the one single target. The other targets do not matter. The only reason I'd ever use fire flower is if you have no idea, if you've just completely screwed up watching him and you have no idea what the real one is, then you should probably use fire flower. But in general, this guy's not too hard to keep track of. It's generally, I mean, how many times in video games have they, they done this whole shuffle thing? It happens all the time, so. I'm pretty sure like all the Mario Luigi games, or at least one of them, has done them in the past before. Um, so it's a very common thing for them to do. They, they, they do seem very fond of these whole like you know gimmicky sort of bosses that do sort of little tricks like clones and stuff. You know, uh, Kamek from Partners in Time comes to mind actually. Anyway, they reform the main one. So uh, rinse and repeat, I suppose. Although he gets another attack off. That's not fair. You just attack. You're not allowed to reform then attack. You're breaking the rules, buddy. Anyway, not too hard to dodge. Um, those those bullets are pretty big. They're not actually that hard to hit. There's some hammer. There's sometimes where the hammer targets are pretty tricky at time. But this one, 
Not too bad. Shouldn't have too much problem with it. Um, are we going to be able to do this right? I want to make sure I don't screw this one up again. Anyway, more hammering. Um, just, I mean, it's a pretty basic boss when you think about it. In terms of the gimmicks, they're usually not even that bad. Uh, okay, we have a green one left. I think, they, yeah, we're going to have to, whoa, I actually missed that one. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> timing, you, they still do have health. You can't one-shot them if you don't, you know, get your attacks right. So make sure you do that as well. Kind of important you try to get as strong of attacks as you can. Or at least the double attack. There's really no excuse. It's easy enough to hit, hit jump twice. Um, we can just heal up again. You know, may as well just keep our health strong. So the point of the badge is really... Um, there are other badges, but I think I might in general just want to use the health one just for the sake of having, you know, those bad... Um, just because it's nice to have a constant heal as opposed to other badges which won't heal you. They'll do other really nice things, but in the end, I don't know if it's necessarily worth it as much. Anyway, um, that's the last one of those. So we're back to this form. I think this is the, I think this is the last time only that we're going to have to deal with um, the big form. So overall, not too complicated. Anyway, what is complicated is annoying electric attacks. I, I do not know the timing for this. Just really, really bad the timing. All right. See, ah, I either jumped too early or I jumped too late. I don't know. I, I've just never been good at getting the timing for this boss, which is going to suck when I do the gauntlet run of this guy. Although, because he's an earlier boss, I'm going to save the gauntlet. Uh, for after I level up everyone, so this boss will actually be pretty easy now that I think about it because I'm just going to be extremely over leveled for this guy. But um, that's okay. Anyway, this one's the last. Um, this is, well, he's not the last one, but this is the, the guy over there. This, that one right there. So, jump helmet time again. I love this attack. It's really fun. The cholesterol one, which I'm, like I said, I'm going to do after the next Bowser section, is also really fun. So, uh, generally, I wouldn't call it my favorite attack. There's, there's um, one that comes to mind that I like better than this one. But I'd say it's probably my second favorite attack in this game. I, I, I think I'd go with second favorite. It's not the second best one, it's just second favorite, so I just prefer this one. Um, not in terms of strength or anything, just because it looks it's just fun and it looks cool. In general, um, I wouldn't call it the best one. There's other ones that are better, by for sure. There are a lot, a lot, a lot of ones that are actually a lot better than Jump Helmets. There's, they're all like cannonballers. They're really cool, they're really effective early game. But later in the game, they don't, they sort of patter out just a little bit. Anyways, so like I said, I'm going to get power this time. Uh, let's see, hopefully we can get a four. Let's see if we get a four. We get a four. We get a four. We get a four. Four? Come on. Ah, two. Better than one. It's twice as much as one, technically. Anyway, we actually got two levels this time. That's interesting. So we get a double level up. And I'm okay with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, what can we get for this? Hey, hey. Mario is getting really good. Um, I'm generally getting pretty good rolls from Mario. It's Luigi who I'm worried about. He seems to be getting the short end of the, end of the stick in terms of stats. Um, just like Partners in Time, where Mario got all the good stat ups and then Luigi just got RNG screwed all the time. Uh, Superstar Saga wasn't that bad. I think it was pretty even. Luigi wasn't too bad there, but um, I don't know. It just feels like this time Luigi's just started getting a little screwed over in terms of the stats I can get. Maybe I can make it up. Can we get a five here? Or a four? It's only a four here. They won't even give the D Luigi that didn't even have any five here. I get a two. It's not horrible, but I don't know. Mario is probably going to end up being the better bro at this rate. Although, you know, there's plenty of time for that to change. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, the boss has been beaten. Princess Peach is safe. However, um, there is going to be more to do in the Flab Zone. Because there's actually more to explore. There's still places to go. I mean, obviously that makes sense because nothing has changed yet. Bowser's still fat. So are we, how are we going to make Bowser skinny? How are we going to escape Bowser for that matter? We've rescued the princess, but how are we going to get out of here? Well, there's another room up ahead, so maybe something interesting will happen in there. We're going to find that out next time, guys. This is Lucky70X signing out. We've got another boss down. Making progress. Okay. Awkward ending is awkward. All right. Bye-bye, guys. See you later.